are headed to homecoming. So when we started our epic journey to moon dance up in Minnesota, which is way up there by Walker, Minnesota and Bacchus, Minnesota, which is about 3,700 miles round trip. We had some issues. We have two trucks that are basically the same. Uh, we took one of them to get the oil changed to get ready for the trip and its flywheel broke. So we had to take the other one. What this did was make us late starting. So we were day late. So we didn't have as much time as we would like. We had to drive through Nashville to get to Franklin. And we didn't get to spend as much time out there as we would like. We drove straight through to get to South 40 Farm. Uh, which is in Franklin, Tennessee. Our host, Jeff, is a marvelous host, and him and his wife are lovely people. I would recommend this Harvest Toast any day of the week, and we're going to make another trip there pretty soon. There is so much to see on this farm. It is absolutely gorgeous. When you have a chance to stay there, you should. At the South 40 Farm, they do a lot of uh, photo shoots for photography, and they also do music videos for up-and-coming artists. But the scenery there is just absolutely stunning. They have sunflowers that they plant. They have uh, a wild flower garden in the middle of the field there is just so much to take a look at here's a quick video of the wildflowers growing out in the middle of the field here's another video showing some of his old car collection and if you want to find out the history of Jeff and South 40 Farm, ask him about his history of racing in the Nashville Speedway. They're actually racing royalty. And I'll just leave you with that. You can find out the rest. So we headed on into Franklin, but of course we had to stop for a treat. There's Tiny Little Donuts, started in 2017, which is in Franklin, Tennessee. They do coffee and Tiny Little Donuts. And I would highly recommend the donuts and the coffee. Okay, you can see that we're headed into Franklin here. Let me start off by saying that spending a day in Franklin is not enough. There is just way too much to see. I don't have enough time in this short video to touch on everything that's there. In addition to the lovely architecture and the lovely stores, as you can see, coming up is the Civil War monument in this lovely roundabout.
here's a small video snapshot of all the different shops that are in and around Franklin. Like I said before, it'll take more than one day to fully see Franklin, especially if you're going to do any of the Civil War stuff or go into all the shops. There's a couple of businesses that have been around for a long time. One of them is Gray's Drug Store. In Another business that had been around for a long time was Allen's Factory, which was a big old factory, and I believe they built stoves. But don't quote me on that. The neat thing that they've done with that is it's been renovated and turned into a bunch of shops where artists ply their wares. There's also some restaurants, so it's another really nice case of reusing an old factory and turning it into something really nice. Again, here's another shot of more of the shops in the downtown area. Like I've said a couple times before, and I'll say it again, don't try to see Franklin all in one bite. There's too many interesting shops to mention, but two that come to mind. One is Carpe Diem, and the other is a restaurant called Kimbro's. One of the other jewels of Franklin is the Franklin Theater, as you can see here. White's Mercantile has been around for a long time, too. Two of the most famous houses that stand out are the Litz House and the Carter House. And literally, they both had the Civil War Battle of Franklin play out in their front yards. No joke. You could spend days looking at the historic houses, either by walking or driving. Take a long look at these houses that we recorded as we drove by. And this is just driving. This isn't walking. This is just taking a look around.
on matters of the Civil War, the Civil War battles, Franklin is simply a treasure trove of Civil War battlegrounds and places of importance. I cannot emphasize this enough. If you are a Civil War buff or you're a historian, this is the place to be. Well, this looks like a good place to stop for this video. Stay tuned to see where our travels take us next as we go toward the scamp homecoming. The adventure continues. See you on the fiberglass trail. See you on the fiberglass trail. Like and subscribe. Leave a comment.